Auzubillahiminashshaitanirajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today we'll start the word by word meaning of Surah Rahman Bismillahirrahmanirrahim With the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful Ar-Rahman The most beneficent Allama He taught Allama he taught Al Quran and the Holy Quran Khalaka he created Khalaka he created Al Insan the human Al Insan the human Allamahu he taught him Allamahu he taught him Al Bayan speech or speaking al bayan speech or how to speak so you can translate the first four ayah like this the most beneficent taught the quran he and he created the human and he taught him to speak then ashamsu the sun Wal Kamaru and the moon be husban. Husban mean alif noon mean uh, alif noon represent these two things. Then hus husban mean basically precisely calculated path. Husban mean precisely calculated path. Ashamsu wal Kamaru be husban. The sun and the moon are in precisely calculated path. One Najmu. The word Najm is usually used for star, but the next word Shajar, next word is Shajar tree. So this means here Najm means herbs, plants, small plants, herbs. One Najmu was Shajaru Yas Judan. So herbs and the trees yes judan they both prostrate yes judan they both prostrate and the herbs and the trees they both prostrate was sama and the sky was sama and the sky rafa'aha he raised it rafa'aha he raised it Wawada'a and he set up. Wawada'a and he set up. Al Mizan the balance, the weight. Al Mizan the balance, the weight. <coughs> Allah. <coughs> Allah is basically made up of two words. First word is an and second is la. So which means you must not. Allah tatawaw so you all must not transgress Allah tatawaw so you all must not cross the limits basically it means Allah tatawaw so you all must not transgress fill me zan in the balance fill me zan in the balance so you all must not transgress in the balance. Waqimu and you all establish. Waqimu and you all establish. Al wazna, the balance, the weight. Bilkisti with justice. Bilkisti with justice. Waqimu al wazna bilkist. And you all establish the balance with justice. Wala tuxiru and don't decrease and don't make it deficient. Wala tuxiru and don't make it deficient. Al mizana the balance and don't make the balance deficient. Wala tuxiru al mizan and don't make the balance deficient. Wal arda and the earth. Wal arda and the earth. 
he set it up. Wada'aha and he set it up. Lil anam for the creations or for the creatures. Wal arda wada'aha lil anam and the earth he set it up for the creatures for the creations. Fiha in it. Fiha in it. Fakia fruits, Fakia and fruit. One nakhlu and the date palm. One nakhlu and the date palm. P E L M palm. Zatu having. Zatu having. Al akmam the sheets. Al akmam the sheets. In it. There are fruit and the date palms having sheets. Walhabu and the grains. Walhabu and the grains. Zul Asfi. Zul Asfi having husk. Zul Asfi having husk. H U S K husk. Zul Asfi having husk. Were Rayhan and the Basil B A S I L Were Rayhan and the Basil Walhabuzul Aswi were Rayhan and the grains having husk and the Basil Fabi Ayala Irabikuma to Kaziban. So, which blessings of your Lord you both will deny? Fabi Ayi, so which. Allah blessings Rabbi Rab mean Lord Kuma you you are both Rabbi Kuma you are both Lord to Kaziban you both will deny Fabi Allah Rabbi Kuma to Kaziban so which blessings of your Lord you both will deny so the question what is the meaning of you both you both mean humans and jinns human and jinns Okay, so which blessings of your Lord you both humans and jinns will deny? Sadaqallahul Azim. We will stop here and for the homework. So, first you will open your Google Classroom. You can open it on your laptop or on your mobile. If you are on mobile, then you need to download the google classroom app from google play store you can download it or from the apple store you can download it easily so first you will go to al quran al kareem class then you will go to his al quran class so first al quran al kareem class you will go to classwork then you will go to homework number five here you will click on view assignment here you will see this file open it so here you can just simply type your answers okay whatever is the answer you can just type it here directly in the big line you need to write the translation of the whole ayah but in the smaller one you can write what meanings he taught like this so you will write complete translation here here you will write the meaning he and then you will just write the meaning so after writing all these meanings you can click on turn in button or you can also print this paper and you can write or you can do whatever you want so after writing you can submit your homework in this homework number five if you are writing it on your laptop then you can just click on this turn in button and it will be submitted to us then after this you will go to the hifzul quran kareem class there again you will cl click on classwork and this time you will go to this homework number five again you click on view assignment so here 
it will be better if you memorize ayah 1 to 16 or you can just uh, memorize ayah 1 to 12 it is up to you memorize it then after memorizing it you will up, uh, record your audio or oh, and you will record you will upload your record your audio here you can also upload your video if you want it is up to you whatever you prefer so you can upload using these options and then you will click on mark as done or you will click find the option of turn in here you can use these options to submit your homework if you have any question any doubt feel free to ask me you can ask me in the comments or you can ask me on my whatsapp inshallah we'll continue next time from here ma salama